I'm Caroline Hogan, and today I'm one of the many riders on the streetcar. But in October, you probably saw some new friendly faces. They're hoping to make everyone feel a little safer. Some people, like Daniel Ogawa, ride the streetcar to get to work. Today, I had to go to uh, work. Uh, so my computer laptop, the processor fan is dying, and so it sounds like a dirt bike. Others, like Brittany Ham and her family, ride to pass time. Well, we have family in town, so we're going to Crown Center today, showing them Union Station and just taking the streetcar because children delight in small things. But these guys ride to help others feel safer. It's a new security team, and their jurisdiction is the streetcar. As we expand the system, we want our security system to expand as well. Donna Mandelbaum with the KC Streetcar Authority said they brought on four guards contracted by Titan, the same group that works at Union Station. They enforce the rider's code of conduct. No weapons, smoking, pets. They do have vehicles like this one right here so that they can respond to incidents that are on the route. Um, and they do have radios that connect with us as well as PD if they need to address a, um, a high impact situation. Donna said they haven't had an incident like that but if there were to be, she says this would help with response times. If the person who's causing an incident needs to exit the streetcar, then our security team will be able to do that and not have to call PD who may be responding to more high level things at the moment. Daniel said he's always felt safe on the streetcar. I mean, I didn't have anything to worry about before, but I feel a lot better now. But having that added security puts Brittany at ease. You are always thinking about that as a mom and just wanting your kids to be safe and will hopefully keep people coming back. Caroline Hogan, KSHB 41 News.